Keith, the security measures that you referenced back in Houston, we're seeing some of them up here in College Station, more so today than we have seen in previous days. I stand right now about a mile and a half away from the Presidential Library to the east. Behind me, you have barricades on the south side of the street. On the north side, you have fences. The city has been preparing for this week for quite some time, but still, it is such an overwhelming operation to put into play. For the past few days, we have seen preparations around the Bush Presidential Library and grounds. But on this day, College Station was fully engaged in welcoming 41 home. Carl Mooney is the mayor of College Station. It's all hands on deck. Mayor Mooney says the scope of the operation is overwhelming as it is impressive. It's complex in ways that you can't really imagine until you're in it. Security measures are already being put into place. The presidential library is completely closed off through Friday. Fences and barricades are being installed and road closures have been designated for parts of George Bush Drive and Wellborn Road in the vicinity of Kyle Field. This is where President Bush will be arriving by rail. Folks like the Secret Service will tell you exactly how it's going to be. Mayor Mooney has also put his own plan into play. We are suspending all non-essential operations in the city so that our own city staff can come and pay their respects. For Mayor Mooney, Thursday will be about College Station saying thank you to the president as well as welcome home. This is our opportunity to demonstrate to President Bush, his family, friends, just how much he meant to us here in College Station. It will be a somber day, a historic day, but also a day of celebration. Mayor Mooney did have one piece of advice. You can see Kyle Field there in the backdrop behind me. Uh, he says, treat it as if you're going to an Aggies game, except add even more time, i.e. get here very early if you plan on coming up to College Station on Thursday. Reporting live in College Station, Marty S. KPRC, Channel 2 News.